everyone, it is Danielle from Cool Science Experiments Headquarters. For the experiment today, we are going to use some markers in the colors of green, blue, orange, and black. And we are going to discover how the colors were made. Are you ready? Yeah! Let's get started. Okay, to start the experiment, you're going to take a regular coffee filter and you're going to fold it in half. Then after it's folded in half, you're going to take your markers, and she's going to take a blue one, and she's going to draw a circle, and she's going to make sure that she colors it in so it's full, fully colored of that blue color. Okay, there's one. And then for her next circle, she's going to make sure that it is about an inch from the other circle. So go ahead and color that one in. That's the orange. Then we're going to take our green and again about an inch from the orange one. And you'll notice as she's coloring them in, she's keeping them in the middle of the coffee filter. So about halfway from the one edge and halfway from the other. Okay. And then lastly, the black. Once you have all the circles colored on your coffee filter, you're ready to move to the next step. You're going to start with a glass and you're going to pour about an inch of water into the glass. Then you're going to take about a half of a teaspoon of salt and put it into the glass and stir it until it's dissolved in the water. Now that the glass is ready, you're going to take your coffee filter and you are going to shape it into a cone. And then place it into the glass. And you're going to move it to the bottom of the glass until the bottom of the coffee filter touches the water. That's perfect. And you'll see that the water is starting to absorb in the coffee filter. So now we're going to wait. We're going to leave the coffee filter in the glass alone and we're going to come back and check on it in about an hour. It has been an hour since we last left the coffee filter in the glass. So now what we're going to do is we're going to slowly and carefully move the coffee filter out of the glass and we are going to lay it flat on the table. Now let's make some observations with the coffee filter. The first thing you're going to notice is that our colored circles that were in the middle of the filter have spread to the top and they're no longer circles anymore. So let's look at each of the individual colors. The first one, our blue circle, has spread, and if I flatten this out here, you can kind of see that the color has spread over across the top of the paper towel, but it is still blue. If we move it to the orange circle, you see that the color is spread, but there are some different hues and different colors in the orange. So the first thing you'll notice is kind of here near the top, there is a reddish color. And then down here near the bottom, there's a little bit of a yellow. Moving to the green circle, you'll see that the color has really shifted dramatically toward the top and there's a definite distinction between the colors. So in the middle, you see a green. Up here at the top, you see some blue colors. And then down here at the bottom, you see a yellow. And then lastly, our color black has changed the most. So there's a huge swash of color here, and you see that the black has changed, and now there's some reds, some purples, some blues, a little bit of green. This is still a little bit of black, even a brownish color. So you see there's, the color black has changed dramatically. You'll notice that the coffee filter is still wet, yet we were still able to see the changes in the colors. If we allowed the coffee filter to dry, you'll notice an e even greater distinction within the colors. So like I mentioned, after we observe the colors 
in the glass. We took our coffee filter out and we laid it flat to dry. And what that allowed us to do was see the colors and the change in the colors more clearly. So when you do the experiment at home, make sure you make some observations while it's in the glass like we did, and then let it dry. And then you can see the differences in the wet pit coffee filter as well as the dry one. Okay, so can you tell me how this experiment works and what caused the colors to change? Leave a comment below to submit your guess and then visit coolscienceexperimentsheadquarters.com to find out the answer. While you're there, you'll be able to print out instructions for this experiment so then you can do it at home too. Thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed the experiment. Click the button to subscribe. See you next time.